As Florida reports 347 cases of a more contagious strain of the virus, it's the most in the country, there are talks of potentially requiring people to test negative for COVID before hopping on a flight. Tonight, major airlines and the head of Orlando International Airport say they are not on board with this. New 6's Troy Campbell is live outside the airport with new reaction, Troy. Well, Lisa, the CEO of Orlando International says he thinks it would be too much of a strain on community resources if it's required that all domestic travelers have a COVID-19 test prior to their departure. Now, tonight we spoke with several passengers who say they don't see the need. We're already wearing masks for everything, so it just feels like what's the difference? New Six caught up with Brittany Barnes as she prepared to board a flight from Orlando back home to Chicago Friday night. She says she will get a COVID-19 test if it's required, but doesn't feel it's necessary. I feel like tests are becoming more easily available, but again, it's just this is kind of what we're all dealing with. Others at Orlando International Airport saying there are enough precautions already in place. I think there's a lot of unnecessary stuff going on. I think if I'm not sick, if I'm not showing symptoms, let me fly. I haven't been exposed to anybody, so I'm willing to wear a mask. Not super worried about it. The Associated Press reporting CEOs of five major U.S. airlines took part in a phone call with the White House COVID-19 coordinator Jeff Zients Friday, urging the administration and the CDC to not require testing for domestic travel. After some federal leaders said the requirement is under consideration. Orlando International Airport CEO Phil Brown saying Thursday, if such a mandate were to be put into place, the county would need to increase its current testing by 42 percent. You've got vaccines rolling out, and at this point, I'm not sure the efficacy of a domestic testing when you're trying to get resources out and get vaccinate, vaccines distributed through all parts of the country. The federal government also announced today that MCO will receive just more than $40 million for COVID uh, relief money. And also they say um, that live in Orlando, Troy Campbell getting results, new six. All right, Troy, thank you.